are not followed, then we will demand that the Panama Canal be returned to the United States of America in full, quickly, and without question. December 31st, 1999. The U.S. hands over the Panama Canal. In answering any request that come from Panama to make the operation of the canal even greater in the next millennium. A symbol of sovereignty, a gateway for global trade. But years later, something starts to go wrong. To international trade, the Panama Canal is also suffering from major disruption as many fewer ships are now getting through. Strange vibrations, hidden fractures, a fault line no one saw coming. Then an even bigger thing was discovered, evidence of an ancient civilization buried under the canal. What does this mean for history, for trade, for power? As nations scramble for control, one thing is certain, the Panama Canal is no longer just a waterway, it's a mystery waiting to be unraveled. The cracks beneath the canal, a crisis unfolds. On December 31st, 1999, Panamanians celebrated as the United States transferred ownership of the Panama Canal to the Republic of Panama. The Panama Canal, a passage that links two great oceans, a lifeline of global trade. Every day, massive ships navigate its locks, carrying the weight of economies on their steel hulls. It's a marvel of human engineering, a testament to progress. But what if this vital artery of commerce was suddenly in danger? A quiet whisper turns into a storm. Uncertainty spreads like wildfire as news of an unexpected intervention by the United States casts a shadow over the canal's future. What once seemed unshakable is now at the heart of a crisis that could ripple across the world. But how did we get here? What unfolded beneath the waters of this historic passage that sent global powers scrambling for control? A routine day until it wasn't. The Panama Canal Authority oversaw operations as usual. Ships moved through the locks, their passage as precise as the ticking of a clock. But then, something happened. Something that could not be ignored. A deep vibration, almost imperceptible at first, trembled beneath the Miraflores locks. A subtle shift that should have meant nothing, yet it grew, stronger, unsteady. Engineers dismissed it as a fleeting disturbance, a mere quirk of the machinery. But then it returned, persistent, undeniable, unsettling. Concern turned to urgency. Diagnostic checks showed no clear answers. Was it an operational glitch, a mechanical failure, or something deeper, something hidden beneath the currents of time? They sent deep-sea drones to search where no human eye could see. What they found changed everything. Cracks in the foundation of the canal itself. Fractures, creeping like silent warnings through the very bones of this vital structure. At first, they seemed like the natural scars of time, wear and tear from a century of service. But as they looked closer, a far more alarming truth emerged. A fault line, previously undetected, ran directly beneath the canal. A seismic force waiting in silence. A discovery that sent shockwaves through the world of engineering and geopolitics alike. A global trade catastrophe looms. Could the very heart of global trade be standing on the edge of collapse? The Panama Canal, a lifeline connecting two great oceans, carried goods worth billions every single day. A sudden disruption wouldn't just slow things down, it could send shockwaves through the entire global supply chain. As concerns grew, engineers and geologists worked relentlessly, scanning every inch of the canal's structure. Cutting-edge technology revealed a chilling reality. Cracks ran deeper than anyone had imagined. And worse, the ground beneath was shifted, a silent warning of something far more dangerous. Was the fault line waking up? If so, the canal's intricate lock system, its embankments, even the land surrounding it, could be at risk of catastrophic failure. Experts scrambled to understand the unpredictable movements beneath their feet, but time was slipping away. Could they reinforce the canal before disaster struck? Or had the damage already begun a chain reaction that no one could stop? The world watched, holding its breath, as the clock ticked toward an uncertain fate. The lost civilization beneath the Panama Canal. As scientists raced to assess the seismic risks lurking beneath the Panama Canal, they stumbled upon something that defied all expectations. What lay hidden beneath the water's surface wasn't just rock and sediment, it was evidence of a lost civilization. At first, these formations seemed like nothing more than natural ridges, dismissed as geological quirks. But the sonar scans told a different story. The shapes were too precise, too deliberate. What appeared to be mere bumps on the ocean floor were actually remnants of structures, foundations of something far greater, 
an ancient legacy buried beneath time and tide. This discovery ignited a question that sent shockwaves through both science and history. Had ancient civilizations understood the strategic significance of the isthmus long before modern engineers did? The Panama Canal, long hailed as one of humanity's greatest achievements, now faced an astonishing re-evaluation. What if the land it was built upon had once been home to a society that had already envisioned, perhaps even attempted, a similar engineering marvel? Archaeologists, stunned by the precision of the submerged structures, searched for answers. Were these ruins ceremonial, sacred places reflecting the spiritual beliefs of a forgotten people? Or were they remnants of a thriving settlement, with streets and homes that had long since vanished beneath the waves? Some even speculated that they were part of an ancient water management system, designed to control the flow of rivers and lakes across the region. If true, this would mean that an advanced civilization had once shaped this land, mastering techniques lost to time. The implications were staggering. Could the modern Panama Canal have been unknowingly built atop the remains of an engineering feat that predated it by centuries, perhaps even millennia? If so, history would need to be rewritten. Had the indigenous peoples of the region developed knowledge of hydraulics and infrastructure that rivaled the engineering of the Egyptians or Romans? Could they have carved out their own canal, using techniques we no longer understand for trade, irrigation, or even spiritual purposes? As archaeologists rushed to uncover the truth, a sense of urgency grew. With each passing moment, more questions surfaced. How much had been lost beneath the waves? What other secrets lay undiscovered beneath the world's most vital trade route? The canal was no longer just a marvel of modern engineering, it was a window into an ancient mystery waiting to be solved. But while the past revealed its hidden wonders, the present carried its own looming catastrophe. The cracks in the canal's foundation weren't minor flaws, they were warnings of an impending disaster. Experts feared that even the slightest tremor could turn these fractures into catastrophic failures, bringing the canal's operations to a grinding halt. It was eerily reminiscent of the 2017 Oroville Dam crisis, when a seemingly small crack spiralled into a full-blown emergency. Only this time, the stakes were far higher. The Panama Canal isn't just a passageway, it's a lifeline for global trade. More than 12,000 vessels rely on its waters each year, carrying oil, electronics, grain, and countless other goods essential to economies worldwide. A sudden collapse wouldn't just delay shipments, it would force entire industries to rethink their supply chains. The only alternative route, navigating around Cape Horn, would add weeks to every journey, sending shipping costs soaring and disrupting supply chains on an unprecedented scale. The economic consequences would be devastating. Trade valued in the hundreds of billions would grind to a halt. Industries dependent on just-in-time shipping would face crippling shortages. Prices would skyrocket, inflation would surge, and the world's largest economies would scramble for alternatives, none of which could match the canal's efficiency. The ripple effects would be felt in every corner of the globe, from grocery store shelves to high-stakes financial markets. Yet, beyond the economic turmoil, a deeper crisis loomed. The canal consumes millions of gallons of water with every transit, straining an already fragile water supply. Panama and its neighboring regions are already grappling with water scarcity, a problem exacerbated by climate change and human activity. If the canal were to fail, the environmental damage could be irreversible. A collapse could disrupt ecosystems, deplete vital water reserves, and trigger a cascade of consequences that would stretch far beyond trade and commerce. This wasn't just an infrastructure emergency, it was a global crisis in the making. The canal wasn't just a man-made marvel, it was a delicate balance between nature, humanity, and history. And with every moment that passed, that balance grew more precarious. As the urgency for repairs intensified, the world watched, caught between the weight of the past and the uncertainty of the future. Archaeologists and engineers worked side by side, piecing together a story that was still unfolding. A forgotten civilization, a modern-day engineering crisis, and a mystery still waiting to be solved. The Panama Canal was more than a waterway, it was a crossroads of time itself. And as its foundations cracked, so too did everything we thought we knew about history, survival, and the fragile connections that bind us all together. If you bought an iPhone or a large screen TV or a washer dryer on the east coast of the United States in the last decade, you can thank the Panama Canal. The Consequences of Panama Canal Dilemma Panic spread like wildfire, and in the midst of uncertainty, the United States stepped in, swift, deliberate, and with purpose. The Panama Canal, though officially under Panama's control, had always been more than just a passageway. 
It was a lifeline for global trade, an artery connecting the world's economies. The US had shaped its very existence, overseeing its construction, guiding its operations, and embedding itself deep within its history. Even after officially handing it back to Panama in 1999, the influence never truly faded. The Panama Canal is one of the greatest and most ambitious engineering projects in the history of the Americas. Now, as an existential threat loomed over the canal, the US saw no choice but to act. The stakes were monumental. The canal wasn't just another trade route, it was the pulse of international commerce, a gateway for oil, goods, and services that powered industries and economies worldwide. Any disruption could send shockwaves through the global market. And so, under the banner of cooperation, the US made its move. Engineers, experts, and military specialists arrived on Panamanian soil, their mission clear to stabilize, to restore, to take control. It was framed as a partnership, an alliance in the face of crisis. But beneath the surface, a question lingered. Was this truly about saving the canal, or was there something more? Was this about protecting global trade, or about reasserting dominance over one of the world's most strategic passageways? For Panama, the canal was a symbol of sovereignty, a hard-won testament to independence. Yet now, with the crisis unfolding, the presence of US forces rekindled old fears. Speculation ran rampant. Was this a necessary intervention, or an opportunity seized under the guise of aid? The world watched, divided. Some saw a stabilizing force, a necessary guardian stepping in to prevent catastrophe. Others saw something far more calculated, a quiet reclamation of influence, a shadow of history repeating itself. With every passing moment, the crisis evolved beyond engineering and logistics. It became something greater, a power struggle, a geopolitical chess match. Would this be a temporary alliance or the beginning of a new era of control? The canal, once a triumph of human ingenuity, now stood as a battleground of competing interests. A single waterway carrying the weight of nations, of history, of an uncertain future. The discovery of new resources. As the repairs to the Panama Canal continued, something unexpected came to light. Beneath its waters lay vast deposits of precious minerals, lithium and cobalt, vital for powering the future. These minerals, crucial for electric vehicles, renewable energy, and electronics, quickly became the world's focus. What was once a simple task of repairing infrastructure now turned into a fierce race for control over these resources. And with this discovery, a question arose. Was the US there to save the canal, or was there something deeper at play? The global battle for these minerals had already begun, and the stakes had just been raised. Environmental issues. As global tensions began to rise, a new chapter unfolded beneath the Panama Canal, one that would change everything. China, already a powerful force in rare earth metals, had expanded its reach across Africa and South America. Now, the discovery of precious minerals under the canal added a new layer of complexity. Would the US fight for control of this newfound treasure? Or would the world come together, seeking partnerships to share the wealth? Nations watched with bated breath, aware that the battle for resources could ignite a new phase of power struggles across the globe. Yet, amid the rush for dominance, environmentalists warned of the heavy cost. Extracting these minerals could harm the delicate ecosystem surrounding the canal, its fragile balance of biodiversity and precious freshwater reserves. The region's unique species, already vulnerable, could be wiped out, and Panama's already strained water supply might face even more pressure. The discovery turned the crisis into a race, not just for trade, but for something much deeper. The minerals promised unimaginable economic gains, but they also carried a dark shadow of environmental destruction. Panama, caught between the demands of global powers and the health of its land, now stood at the crossroads. Would they prioritize short-term wealth, or could they protect the fragile future of the canal's ecosystem? The world was waiting for an answer. Similarities to the crisis in Suez. The US intervention in the Panama Canal crisis stirred memories of a similar moment in history, the 1956 Suez Crisis. Back then, Egypt's move to nationalize the Suez Canal prompted Britain, France, and Israel to take military action, all to control one of the most vital trade routes in the world. The Suez Canal, even today, is a key passage between the Mediterranean and Red Seas, connecting Europe and Asia and carrying crucial goods and oil. 
The Suez Crisis had been a moment when military force was used to maintain Western power over a global lifeline, ultimately reshaping the Middle East and showing the diminishing control of colonial powers. While the Panama Canal Crisis didn't spark direct military conflict, its significance echoed the Suez situation. Both canals were symbols of power and influence, key waterways that weren't just for transportation, but for shaping the global economy. Any disruption in these passages would send ripples across the world, and the stakes were incredibly high. Just like the Suez Canal before it, the Panama Canal held the power to shift international alliances and change the balance of global trade. The US, with its long-standing role in Panama, had to navigate the delicate line between helping and controlling. Its involvement seemed almost inevitable, but that raised questions. Would it respect Panama's sovereignty, or use this moment to reassert its dominance? The Suez Crisis had reshaped the global order, marking the decline of European powers and the rise of the US and Soviet Union. Now, the world waited, wondering if this crisis would mark a turning point or simply maintain the status quo. Would the US resolve the situation without escalating tensions? Or would this be another reminder that control over key trade routes is where true power lies? The outcome would determine not only the future of the Panama Canal, but also the global trade system and international relations in the years to come. Sustainability and environmental issues. The canal, once a lifeline, now faces deepening struggles, technical issues, economic strain and geopolitical tensions threaten its future. For years, it relied on fresh water from local lakes, but as climate change worsens the water crisis, the question lingers. Can it survive without draining the very resources it depends on, hurting both the environment and the people nearby? Engineers are exploring solutions, like water recycling and smarter lock operations. Unusual vibrations and rising tides, Something strange was happening in the waters of the canal. Fishermen spoke of whirlpools appearing without warning, and low, eerie sounds seemed to rise from the depths. Whispers began to spread. Could these odd occurrences be tied to the newly discovered fault line under the canal? Was this the calm before something much bigger? The tension grew, and with each passing day, the mystery deepened. The world wasn't just watching the canal anymore, they were watching something much more uncertain. International interest instability. The Panama Canal, a lifeline for global trade, faced a crisis that could have rippled through the entire economy. Even a brief closure could have sent shockwaves through industries, especially those relying on just-in-time supply chains, potentially costing billions. We only need to remember the 2021 Ever Given incident in the Suez Canal to grasp how fragile this network truly is. Now the pressing question is whether the Panama Canal's infrastructure can be repaired in time to avoid a similar global catastrophe. The intervention by the United States may have saved it, at least for now, but at what cost? The future of the canal hangs in the balance and its fate remains uncertain. Will it continue to thrive, or will the secrets buried beneath its waters change everything? This story is far from finished. Keep watching as the mystery of the Panama Canal unfolds before us. Until, see you next time.